Every life in Daisy begins and ends the same way. The world is over, but there are still wonders to be seen. This is our survivor, Daisy. She travels the road alone. Her goal is to see the seven Daisy wonders of the world. Can she survive and travel to all seven? Thank you for joining me on this Daisy journey. Enjoy the episode. Enjoy. Welcome to this new series, episode two of Daisy in Daisy, traveling to see the seven wonders of the Daisy world. Put in the comments where you think she needs to go. For now, she's cooking up some chicken to fuel up for the episode. All right, we've cooked up all the chicken. This is Daisy. She's on her way to see the seven wonders of the Daisy world. She's one of our favorite survivors on this channel. Thanks for weighing in on this new series, season three with our girl Daisy. And uh, yeah, you guys let me know the seven wonders of the Daisy world, what are they? And we got a few corrections thanks to you guys. You guys said I needed to add Green Mountain and the prison. For sure, you're right on both accounts. So we'll have to visit those. We gotta visit the seven wonders of the Daisy world. Uh, what I have right now is Riffy, so we're gonna have to gear up with all of the, um, those Capri pants might be better than what I'm wearing, and they match what I got, purple team. So we got Riffy, we got the Sniper's Nest at Novo, uh, we've got the Crash Site at Cherno, I say the platforms at Tizzy, those are pretty wild and unique. And Northwest Airfield Command Center, maybe? Radio Znet, maybe? I don't know, we got room for seven, and then we have Green Mountain and Prison. Of the ones that I listed, which one is the odd one out? That's eight I listed. So, uh, first few episodes will be looting up, gearing up, getting warm clothes getting our food situation straightened out, trying not to die. We're just on an official Daisy server. Those of you who follow the channel well, okay, I could use this a minute ago. I hope that using that rag doesn't come back to haunt me. Had to use a rag. Okay, we don't need this. Uh, un that it was not disinfected. So yeah, if you've been following, you might know what server I'm on. I try not to broadcast it for the casual viewer it's actually pretty secret it wouldn't surprise me if most of you don't know what server this is uh, because i don't want to we've had with lucky i let that be known because i'm a nice guy and i wanted to meet people on the server and i did I made some good friends but then like grenade traps started being set uh that's gonna be a good melee landmines started appearing right where i logged off and I would like log off here and then, or like go to sleep here and then hit the end of the stream and then go log off over here just in case. And it happened a few times where it's like, ah, that was suspiciously close to where I logged off. So I got to be a little careful with that. However, if you're in the Discord, things like that, there's a higher probability that you know where we're at. So we're trying to see the seven wonders of the Daisy world. And really, that's just a platform for a goal while we survive really it's just about survival in this game it's nice to have little goals the game doesn't give you goals and so we're in i think niznoy maybe i don't know the name of this i mean i think in that little area just south of niznoy uh, here's another zombie i think i think the first wonder of the world we'll probably see will pass by the riffy gas zone, but that doesn't count because we have to actually go in it, I think. We'll see it, but the Novo Sniper's Nest might be the first one. That's the direction we're heading. What's he got? Pipsy. Yeah, we're going to pick up our chicken in a minute. It's cooking. It just cooked in that house, but it, I'll overheat if I have it now. So yeah, big thanks to those of you who've been following this series already. Just started, really. It's a new series, really. Uh, one episode in. This is episode two. I think it's probably safe to get our chicken and eat it, drink our sodas, drink our water, refill the water. Let's go get fat and happy. Yeah. Let's go get fat and happy. Yeah. Uh. Uh. This guy 
got nothing for me. A track coach doing some stairs here. Now there's other players in the server. I could get murdered. It's a possibility. Well, we haven't seen anybody in a while. We've seen. Let's see, I gotta. There it is. One of our seven wonders of the Daisy world. We gotta get geared up to get in there. We're gonna head to Ulsha, loot up a bit of what we need, then head to the airfield, try to get geared up to go into the toxic gas zone. And check out the ship. Let's go, Daisy. You know, this actually could be one of those wonders of the world. You got Willow Lake and Black Lake. Honorable mention. Honorable mention. For the seven wonders of the world. We got some people buried here. No names. Unmarked grave. Got a bench you can sit on. And let's uh let's show some respect. Let's take a minute and um can I get on here? Ah, uh, there we go. And contemplate life and appreciate the moment. Sitting on a bench in Daisy, looking at those who've gone before. Just listening to the breeze and being alive. We're going to skip Ulsha, I think. We're going to head straight to the airfield. Try to find enough stuff to go into Riffy. What I don't find, maybe a friend can help me with. Alright, that's enough thinking and contemplating life. Let's go. Okay, we're close to the airfield. We've got a few houses to loot. Maybe we find some food or drink. And we go up there and we hang a right, and we should be at the airfield. I'm gonna kill these zombies in hopes that they drop me some goodies. Well, there's more of them than I thought. I hear one to my right and one to my left. Okay, that one's got a backpack I can carry. Oh crap. Oh dang, and I'm bleeding. Dang. Alright, let's heal this wound up which stinks. Because I need to disinfect some rags, and I've got crappy rags. Uh, but I got some glasses sitting right there. Shout out to the librarian. Join members have a series called The Librarian, where uh, survivors go on from being a librarian to, like, fully kitted. That's the idea. All right, well, we're going to have to go out there and battle these dudes. That was the end of that, and I, I'm going to try not to get cut. I want to get better rags before I have to use these. It'd be nice to disinfect like a stack of pristine rags, you know what I'm saying? These guys still sound pretty mad out there. But one of them's got a backpack. I should try to punch that one out if possible. Let's go knife and try to sneak up on one of them. Get a stealth kill. Okay, let's sneak up on Grandma here. Yes, okay. So now I should be able to punch this one out. So I don't ruin the bag. I'm going to carry the backpack. I had a grandma I could never sneak up on in real life. My dad's mom. She would, like, test us. She'd say she had eyes in the back of her head. She had one of those um, old lady haircuts, you know, where... Like, you know, just curly and short. And we would try to sneak up on her, and she'd always turn around and see us. And as a kid, I really thought, dude, maybe in that kind of nappy, curly hair she's got going on back there, maybe she really does have eyes in the back of her head. And I remember staring at the back of her head, trying to see through her hair. And I couldn't, I didn't see any eyes. But we could never sneak up on her. She was, she was overpowered that way. All right, 
Well, let's get into the episode. Uh, we covered some ground in the intro there, the narration there. If you follow the channel, I like to do a lot uncut. For this series, we're going to be traveling so much that there might be some of the traveling edited out. Do another backpack right there. Let's drop this. Let's knock this fool out. Nice to find some canned food, man. Nothing. So that I don't have to cook this fish up yet. Should have stored up more ATP in my cells so I can throw those haymakers. Yes, we'll drink it now. Alright, some more sugar in the system. All right, now we're rocking and rolling. Now we're playing with fire. Let's do this. Yeah, Daisy is a cool character. I thought about putting her on a full server just for more human interaction, but I think whoever we have up next for this series, yes, we'll eat it now. Brisket spread. We'll put him on a populated server and expect him to die. Maybe we do another Nice Guy Virgil. If you know the channel, you might remember Nice Guy Virgil. He's nice to everyone. <laughs> he goes up. I go up to everybody. Hey, how you doing? And nobody killed him yet. It was awesome. Uh, at the end of his last season, uh, you got to check it out. You got to go look it up in the channel. I'll try to link it in the description uh, or at the end of the video. But Nice Guy Virgil, it's a fun, fun little series. Maybe we bring back Nice Guy Virgil and put him on like LA, what is it, 4293 or something. The one that's always full. The only downside is sometimes you gotta wait forever to get on that server. That's a nice jacket. But I like the rider jacket. Alright, so those snacks should hold us over. A cooking pot would be beautiful. Might have to actually fish a river. I might actually go fishing in a river to try to catch a cooking pot. That's where I found more of them than anywhere else. Hilarious. Oh, I should cut that up for rags. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's in good condition. Hopefully it gives me pristine rags. I want disinfected pristine rags because I don't have any more medical bandages. There's the girl right there. All right, six of them, and they are pristine, or four of them. The question is, do I get greedy? Do I try to merge them? I think I am going to merge them with those, and hopefully they stay pristine. Come on. Yes, they did. Did they merge? Is there six of them now? Is that a six stack? Six pieces and yes. Okay, so let's disinfect them. So now we have some bandages that won't kill us. I hate dying like that. All right, let's hot key it right there. Put them away and we'll take our hatchet back. Is it still hot keyed? It is. Okay, Rick Grimes style. All right, so that's actually a sneaky good find. Um, let's see. I should put like a bunch of stuff that I don't need now in the backpack. We'll put all of our food and stuff. Hopefully we can fit both of our fish. Uh, and if I take this out, we can fit the cooking pot. So all of our, or the, there we go. So all of our food and stuff is in here. Question for the trivia. Who shops at the food and stuff? It's where I get all of my food and most of my stuff. TV show, that's the line. Who said it? Okay, we should see, I think, okay, so where we're going is right there, right, right across that field. There might be like a pub unless I already passed it. If we are where I think we are, and I think we are where I think we are. Ha, okay. We could have a fire and cook this food up later if we don't find a cooking pot. And I don't know that we're going to find a cooking pot here. I will probably try fishing for a cooking pot before the end of the episode. Here, like a cow, too, man. We could, like, get totally loaded up. Um, I say we duck right into this, right into the air base, see what we find. Then we'll see what we need for Riffy. Then maybe a friend comes and helps me along the way with what I don't have. I thought Riffy would be the final wonder, but maybe it'll be the first wonder of the world we see. 
We do need to get a castle on there. I don't remember what Devil's Castle looks like. Okay, I think we're going to find most of the stuff we want to find right there. I have had an epic shootout at this place one time with Melanie was there. I think Bob was there. I don't know if A-Cup was there. There's a bunch of us. And I think it was A-Cup, Bob, Melanie. And we got in an epic shootout here. I don't remember if we all died or not. I don't think so. Yes, here's another um, really cool spot on the map. Uh, this cross with the helmet. So we're seeing this kind of as a theme today, these burial grounds. And it was funny, I remember being in, in there somewhere, seeing this blue helmet popped up, and I kept... Oh, I was over by the fence. I was over by that fence, and I kept shooting, thinking this was the dude's head. And then when we came to investigate, turns out it wasn't his head. It was, it was that. But you can see how, from a distance, like right there, you can kind of see it. Boom, boom. All right, now let's see. There could be other survivors here, and it's probably a shoot-on-sight type of situation. So uh, I should have dropped my bag at that monument. That would be easy to find it, but we will drop it off. I'm scanning for other survivors. We'll drop it off parallel to the water tower. Drop it off right here between two ferns. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I can put in here. I can drop, put that in here. Something bigger. Um, yeah, let's put these boots in here. Okay, so I got as much space as I can. We'll drop the bag there. Uh, let's actually hotkey this knife so I can stealth kill some zombies if need be. With a steak knife. Well, a steak knife is more important than we realize because I don't think I can dig up worms with my hatchet. And if I'm going to do any more fishing, I need that knife. It'd be nice to find a better knife. All right, we are looking for Riffy gear. Ooh, there's a... That's nice for water carry, that jerry can. I don't know how I'd even kill a cow. We tried that already. That's funny. Um, surgical gloves are better than these nasty things. I will go ahead and grab this. We're going to find a lot of that sort of thing. Okay. NBC pants. We definitely want that. Could have just gone through here instead of jumping that wall. Saline bag, and I think I can make the saline kit now. Charcoal tabs, scrub pants, but I the one pants I have right now aren't good. NBC respirator, okay. Now is that different? Is that better or worse? Do I need that instead of this? Combat gas mask. I don't know. They're both freaking scary looking. What's this? Epinephrine probably. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put it. I don't know if I can. It's definitely a waste of space there. But I don't know if I'm wasting the, the precious air in it. I probably was. Because you only have so many minutes. Paramedic pants got to be better than the pants I'm wearing. Hopefully they have more pockets, but I don't think they do. IV starter kit. Okay, let's put that together right now. This is blood collection. Let's do IV starter. Okay. I think I actually dropped the blood collection craft. Well, maybe I shouldn't because, you know, I'm going to leave this because I may need clean blood freaking after if, if something goes poorly. Okay. 
Let's do this. I may need blood if something goes poorly in the gas zone. Okay. Let's keep looting. Finding a lot of this stuff. Flare gun. Blood collection kit again. I forget what I need to combine for the blood collection kit. I got three of them. Do I just collect? Oh, collect my own blood. Okay, so it's that easy. Okay. Damaged. Let's drop this one. Pristine. We'll do this later because if I get mobbed, I may need my blood right now. Need my blood in my body. A bandage, that's nice. That's what uh, nurses wear if they join a gang. Okay. So we didn't come close to getting everything. But we got some things. Do I have a friend out there who would like to join me? And help me get the rest? Okay, I know there's, yeah, this over here, I might get a cool shirt. Last time I was here, I got a really cool shirt. I think I hit all of those. But I'm not sure. I didn't get in trouble, so that's good. Another bison. No mag. I'm going to leave it. Box 45. I'm going to leave it. It's not what we're about. Oh, cult. Okay. No mag. It's in good shape. Maybe I do grab that 45. That's what the cult shoots, right? Yeah, I think I do grab that 45. Yeah. Mags for this are usually everywhere, man. Like Belota. Another bison. Holy smokes. All right, what do we have here? Colt 1911 with a suppressor. Let's take the suppressor. Okay. All right, uh, we gotta go back and get our, our carry-on bag. I almost forgot. We could loot all the way over there, but I'm not, you know, I don't, I, don't, I kinda do need weapons, I guess. big smokestack in village up there that piques my curiosity more actually than those two military buildings behind me so we got some gear we might have to loot here again like next episode unless one of you guys comes through uh, it makes me nervous to do that first to do riffy first as the seven wonders is probably the riskiest of all especially because i don't have a lot of experience in gas zones but uh I mean, this is where the game spawned us. I have some of the gear now. I gotta research what else I need. But for now, let's go do what we do best and let's survive, hopefully. Hmm. I don't know if there's any loot over here. We may be on that truck. Let's get back over here, see if we can get lucky, find a, a pot. Take a glance at the map, see if there's like a water watering hole, a little river. There is. Because usually like out of those shallow rivers is where I pull out like cooking pots and crap. Let's loot these houses though. Let's drop our bag right here. We're actually probably pretty full. Uh, we got four. Yeah, not a lot of space. Good thing I got that backpack. That second one. A 
spy in her backpack, but it's the same size. Where's the other dude? Is he on a roof or something? He's probably gonna run at me right now. Oh crap. Okay. We are piling them up. For a second I thought this might become unmanageable. Alright. Alright, nothing. Just the backpack. Nothing. We're gonna probably go fishing here if I can sort myself out directionally. A tire iron, that's a good melee weapon. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop this gun. Can I put this on my... I can't, okay, it has to go there. I guess I might as well keep the gun for now. But yeah, this blade is getting, this hatchet's getting pretty jacked up. I should swap it. Hopefully I'll find a sharpening stone, I can fix it up. Yeah, that rifle. Dude, a shotgun slug would be nice. And I could get one of those cows and have food forever. Oh, wow. Okay. Got to get used to, like, backing up when you hit a door open. It's also good to do that in case there's someone pointing a gun at the door. Bomber jackets for days up here. I think I even hear a sheep. It's kind of a lot of zombies, right? Two, three in the background, four. Kind of a lot going on. Dude, how many how many have gotten an alert to my presence? Definitely two. Got to kill this first one quick. Okay, good. Good. Cool. Tire iron, two shots, and a sprite. Nice. Except I am so full on stuff, man. Inventory issues. Yeah, I gotta cook and eat these fish. That's what's gotta happen, I think. A cooking pot or pan doesn't take up any inventory space because you can fill it up with stuff. Alright, let's loot this stuff and try to figure out where that little stream is. Pipe? A broom. Drop this and eat this straight away. Just keep eating, man. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's another fruit. Okay, I just want to open the door. There we go. Oh yeah, that's some shotgun shells. Nice. And a dress. Okay, that would be six rags right there. Alright, let's uh take these and we can load this up. Nice. So if we wanted to kill a cow, we probably could. 
Could we carry any of it, though? That's the question. Do I need to be carrying both of these? That's another question. NBC respirator uh, used to protect from airborne pollutants and contaminated air. Um, with two small built-in filters. Yeah, I'm going to keep them both. So you guys tell me otherwise. Let's get my tire iron back. Brooklyn. Alright, let's go get our backpack and go fish, not for a fish, but for a cooking pot. Oh, I don't know if this stuff is in here like this normally. That seems like two odd things to have sitting there. Okay, well, let's go get our backpack. Let me leave it down here. Follow the trail of bodies. Yeah, here's the bodies we piled up. I'm navigating without a compass, which is always a dangerous thing. Okay, I got one space left there. I hate dropping the deagle mag, but I don't have a deagle. Um, the blood bags. Do I need two of them? I mean, I feel like everything I have has good value to it. You know, maybe we just go fists, man. I just go fists. Okay, so let's see if I can figure this out. That's cool. Is that one of our wonders? I think we're in Krasnosnav. I think. We'll look around for a street sign. Yeah, we're in Krasnostav. And here's the stream. Or at least, if I follow that, I'm pretty sure we'll find it. Right? There's got to be like a little water here. Yeah, but I'm going to look at the map, see what castle that is. Maybe that's one of the seven wonders of the world. Can't find the stream, but that's okay. I've just pulled more cooking pots out of streams, which is kind of crazy. Teddy bear, nice. All right, we're going to log off here, call it an episode. We got some gear. I'll review it before I log off, show you what I got. And uh, you can let me know in the comments what else I need. And uh, if you want to try to go with me, let's see. Let's see, I got the boots, check. I got the pants, check. I've got two masks, check. So I need gloves, right? I need a jacket, right? Uh, is that it? Is there a, a hat? No. So I think I need NBC gloves. I need an NBC jacket. Maybe I loot the same place next episode. But I'm going to be reading in for your comments. I'm going to watch some, some videos, do some research myself because it's been a while. And uh, we got to cook up this fish and get it eaten. And yeah, it was a good successful episode. We saw Riffy. We didn't get to go in it yet, but we saw it. And we saw that castle. We didn't get to go to it yet, but we saw it. We're getting closer to checking out these seven wonders of the world. It's going to be an epic, epic journey. Thanks for watching. And uh, let's see, she's going to have a lie down here. Right here. Ready to roll bag in hand and ready to see some wonders of the world take care god bless we're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse if you are like me then daisy is your therapy there's only one thing more fun than watching or playing daisy and that's watching or playing it while wearing the t-shirt click the link to the merch store below every penny goes towards my kids education thanks for watching god bless we're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse